Hello everyone and welcome to another Hala lighting tutorial. So today we're going to be talking to you about our tunable wire Zigbee LED controller and our four zone tunable wire Zigbee remote control or wall mount and how to pair them with the LED controller and integrate them with a smart hub device. Now this controller comes with a four channels rated at 5 amps per channel and you only need 12 to 36 volt DC to power it up. Now the first thing that you want to do is to make sure that there's no previous pairing on your LED controllers. So you're gonna press the program button 5 times on your LED controller. The LED will then blink twice to signify that the reset has been done. You will also have to make sure that your remote control or wall mouse have been reset before trying to pair it. So you can press and hold onto the remote control. Then once the LED indicator flashes once, you can then press the button 5 times to reset the remote control. Now once it's been reset, the LED indicator will blink twice. It is the same procedure with the wall mount. You want to press and hold onto the power button. Then when the LED indicator flashes once, you can go ahead and press the power button 5 times. Now we're going to pair the remote control and the wall mount to the LED controllers via touch link commissioning and we're going to pair them in uh, two zones as we have two LED controllers we can use uh, two zones. So we're just going to turn off one of them LED controllers so that we don't risk having them on the same zone. So you want to go ahead and uh, power off the power button on the first controller. You will then have to wait 15 seconds for touch link commissioning to start. After 15 seconds, you can go ahead and grab your remote control, select the zone that you may want to use. For example, we're going to select zone 1, so you want to power up your remote control, press zone 1, then press and hold onto your power button. And once the LED indicator flashes, you want to go ahead and press S2. The LED indicator will then start blinking. You can go ahead and place the remote control onto the LED controller and the LED lights will flash to signify that the pairing has been done. Now we're going to repeat the same process but this time we're going to power up the second LED controller and have it paired on zone 2. Remember you have to wait 15 seconds for the touch link commissioning to start. So power up the remote select zone 2 then press and hold onto the power button until the led indicator flashes press s2 the remote control will start blinking and then you will place the remote control onto the led controller and the led lights will flash to signify that the pairing has been completed After pairing your remote control to the LED controllers, you will of course be able to control each zone separately by pressing and holding onto the selected zone if you want to turn it off or if you want to turn them on at the same time, you can just press the power button. You will also of course be able to um, adjust the color temperature of each zone separately by just selecting the zone and then adjusting the CCT of uh, each zone. Now if you want to save any of the scenes that you might have created, you just have to press and hold on any of the free preset buttons that you have on the remote control. You can save up to free preset scenes. Now the wall mount has the same exact pairing procedure and functionalities as the remote control. The only difference is that you have to supply it with 240 volts. So we're going to power off then power back on our LED controller and then wait 15 seconds for the touch link commissioning to start. Then we're gonna go ahead and select our zone, so zone 4. Press and hold onto our power button, wait for the LED indicator to come up. Press S2, the LED indicator will start flashing. Bring your wall mount close to the LED controller and your pairing is done. You can just repeat the same steps if you have multiple controllers and you will still be able to save up to 4 preset scenes. Now 
now the controllers and the remote controls are ready to be used now you do have the option to integrate them with a smart hub device if you do want to control your lights from a mobile phone you just have to make sure that the device that you're going to be selecting has a zigbee inbuilt protocol now if you want to control your led lights from your mobile phone and the remote control at the same time you first need to add the led controller and the remote controls onto the zigbee network and then do the touch link commissioning now for this example we're going to integrate the lights with the philips hue bridge which has a zigbee inbuilt protocol after setting up your philips hue bridge and downloading the application you're gonna tap on the three dots on the top of the screen light setup tap on add light now before you tap on search you want to go ahead and power up your led controllers as you have a 15 seconds window to connect to the philips hue bridge tap on search it will take 10 to 15 seconds for the led controllers to be found once found you can go ahead and rename them we're gonna rename it as room one and room two after doing that you can go ahead and create a zone or a room where you can add this light so we're gonna name this house and then we're gonna add room one and room two into our house that is all done you can then go back onto the home page of the application and start using your lights so you can tap on house and then control room one and room two separately or you can turn them off at the same time you have full functionalities on the application that you can use and visit we're then gonna add the remote control onto the zigbee network before doing touch link commissioning so you're gonna go into settings accessory setup add accessory hue dimmer switch you can go ahead and tap leds blinking then grab your remote control press and hold onto the power button when the led indicator comes up you're gonna tap s1 now once paired onto the zigbee network the led indicator will blink quickly five times now know that nothing will actually happen on the philips U application itself you just have to make sure that the led indicator blinks five times in quick succession now you can add as many remote controls as you want as it's still searching so we're gonna go ahead and add the wall mount so press and hold onto the power button led indicator comes up then press s1 it will start blinking slowly and then five times quickly to show that it's been paired to the zigbee smart hub device after you've done that you can go ahead and pair the remote control to the led controllers via touch link commissioning as we showed in the previous minutes if you'd follow all of the steps you should now be able to control your tunable white lights from either your mobile phone or remote control for more information you can visit our website highlightlighting.co.uk and don't forget to click on the subscribe button underneath this video you can also follow us on our twitter and instagram page Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.